Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a tips and tricks video. If you want to avoid problems, and I mean if you get into malware, viruses, if you get into some kind of trouble because you're using or changed a setting, maybe you installed that new driver for a piece of hardware you have and all hell breaks loose. You know what? something needs to be checked to make sure that it's on and it can save you from hours of troubleshooting. It is the system restore. Unfortunately, as a tech guy, what I understand is that probably, um, I'd say more than 70 to 80% of the people that I've actually fixed their computer didn't know about the system restore. And you know what? System Restore probably fixed at least 40 to 50 percent of all the computers that I got paid fixing for a problem. And if people knew about it, well, they could actually use it instead of paying the tech guy. So, first of all, in Windows 7, you have the System Restore. It is located in the Start menu and in the uh, Windows Accessories. Uh, it's in the System Tools, I believe. In Windows 8, Windows 9, uh, Windows 9, <laughs> Windows 10, uh, you can of course search for it. You can search for it in Windows uh, XP or whatever. It's it's there since Windows XP. All you have to do is type Restore, and you will have System Restore or here in this case in Windows 10, Create a Restore Point. Click on that. Now. What you want to do is to make sure that it's on, and that's one of the reasons why I want this to be a video. If it's not on, it will tell you it's turned off, actually. Do you want to turn it on? Make sure that it's on. Too many people have computers where it's turned off for some reason, and that's a bad idea. It is actually a good idea to have it turned on. Why System Restore is so important? Because when it's turned on, it creates kind of a photograph or an image of how your system was at a specific point. And if you get into trouble, malware, viruses, um, anything that goes wrong because of an update, or maybe you tweaked your system, it, everything goes bad, well, you just click the System Restore and choose a date that is before the problem. Now, in some systems like Windows 7, 8.1, and 10, you have to put that little check mark if you want to see more points. Now, here's the thing. What you want to do is simply use a point in time that is the closest to you, but not too far back because it will remove settings, updates, programs. So what you want to do is you want to choose a point that's before the problem but as close as possible to your actual date and time. So that's the cool thing. You can even use this as a safeguard. For example, if you are planning to do some changes in the system, updating drivers, why not click the create button and create a restore point that you can call uh, for example everything is fine August 24th 2016 and you click the create button and it's going to appear in that list if you have problems. Restore takes a certain amount of time so once you start to restore what's going to happen your system is going to say okay once you've started, you can't stop it in the middle. Very important. It could take anywhere from 5 to 25, 30 minutes, depending on the system's configuration, but it does work and leave it doing what it needs to do. <coughs> at the end, sorry, at the end, you will have a complete restore to that point. It's going to revert back to the settings it's going to remove the things that went bad. Now, one little thing in the virus and malware, it doesn't work all the time, but it works enough that it's something you can try if you got infected. 
So system restore, very important to have it turned on and to have it monitor so you can go back in time. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Hope you enjoy our little tips and tricks videos.